Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's take a look at a question from Russia where we are trying to solve the values of two variables given their exponential equations. When I tried to solve this question, I was trying to relate equation 1 with equation 2. And given that equation 1 involved the variables x and y raised to the 4th power, so my natural approach was to manipulate equation 2 in such a way that I have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 plus x y squared. From there, I try to take the square on both sides in order to get things raised to the 4th power. But then I quickly realized that it's very difficult to balance the exponents on both sides. So that approach was abandoned. If any of you try to solve using this approach and manage to get the final answer, please feel free to share in the comment section. I will be grateful to learn how that can be done. My next approach was to bring 1 to the left hand side on equation 2. So when I do that, this is what I have. I have x squared plus y squared minus x squared y squared minus 1 is equal to 0. We can do some rearranging on the left hand side and to come up with a factorization. So when I do that, I have x squared minus 1 plus y squared minus x squared y squared. If I go further and isolate y squared on the later part of the left hand side, I have x squared minus 1 plus y squared 1 minus x squared, and that's equal to 0. We can relate the components on both brackets where 1 minus x squared is actually equal to negative 1 multiplied by x squared minus 1. So let's go ahead and do our factorization. I'm going to take out x squared minus 1, so this is equal to 1, and this is equal to minus y square and that's equal to 0 and if you look at x square minus 1 and 1 minus y square they are both difference of two squares so let me go ahead and expand this out I now have x plus 1 x minus 1 1 plus y 1 minus y is equal to 0 from here, each of the bracket will be equal to 0. So I have x plus 1 equal to 0. x is equal to negative 1. x negative 1 equal to 0. x is equal to 1. Likewise, y plus 1 equal to 0. y equal to negative 1. y minus 1 equal to 0. y is equal to positive 1. One of the original equations that we are given is x to the 4th power plus y to the 4th power is equal to 82. So when x is equal to 1 or negative 1, x to the 4th power will be equal to 1. Therefore, y to the 4th power is equal to 82 minus 1 which is equal to 81 and y is equal to plus minus 3 likewise when y is equal to 1 or negative 1 y to the 4th power will be equal to 1 therefore x to the 4th power will be equal to 82 minus 1 that's equal to 81 and x will be equal to plus minus 3. Essentially, that is the reverse of the first combination. So these are the values that we have for our final answer. I thank you for watching. Have a good day. God bless.